archers. Stab him dead. It's short to the gut. What a way to go. And dead. They don't mind if they fell into the exact same position. Nobody died. Better luck than I was expecting. Intellect plus one, which doesn't show up because we're wearing two items that increase our intellect. So there it is, though. Magic sword. They got arch mages are nice. Also, some more priests. Battle cry is bad to have. He also has a quest. Any errands? Yeah, they have one easy errand for you. You do this. I have to go over to a woman and collect some papers from her. You need to go do Martian Swamp. There you'll find an old witch. Old Sh Shivaka, she's called. Long ago, we loaned her some very valuable papers. The Lost Necromancer's Town Chronicles. Unfortunately, through a conflict with the Witch's Coven about 500 years ago, all our ties with the Witches were broken. So the papers were left with Chikaba. Now the Mage's Council has decided to resume the search for that town. We need the Chronicles from her. Once, well, we need the Chronicles once more. You go and get the papers? Sure, shouldn't be too hard, except they probably will be. You like that? I ain't in a hurry. I didn't even tell you how to get there. Martian Swamp is to the west. Search for the guide sign as you approach. To the left uh, is a cemetery. You don't need to go there. Instead, go straight to the swamp. That's where she lives. Okie dokie, then. More quests. Dragonflies. And there are some Inquisitors. And there's some robbers. Oh, there's the giant thorn. Oh, come on then. are problematic. Inquisitors are special in that they get resurrection. I don't think he'll actually be able to resurrect anyone because... No, he could resurrect a dragonfly. That's something he could do. Except now he can't because the whole group's dead. That was a thing that could be done, I suppose. Push that off. Kill that. Swipe at that bear. Which is an upgraded bear. Ancient bear. 
Resurrection also serves as a healing spell. the peasant. Whatever will we do? And we're probably going to have to fight that, too. Oh, you jerk. I didn't even see you there. Look out, rabbit, they're carnivorous. There's random things in the background. Like that fish. attacks. Go over here, and you go up here. Good job. Ta-da! Talking plant. Ah, who has come to us? Food has come to us. Why? Come here, walking on two legs. Beat me with sparking sticks. Burn me with your lightning. Just talk this out as two intelligent creatures. Have a talk? Walk can the walking on two legs talk peacefully? Those who come before you they just beat us with sparking sticks and burn us with lightnings. You see my children come two lands of walking on two legs. Children pursue the villagers. They're all the village. People are dying. We don't care about the walking on two legs. Our children begin to die. There is no tasty soil for them. The walking on two legs soil is tasty. Children must go to tasty soil. We find tasty soil, and we will leave the walking on two legs land. Okay. I'll, uh... Maybe I can negotiate something. So might ruin Yoink. My horse is faster than your wings. Hey dude. I don't really know how to tell you. Uh, I found uh, you know we can actually talk. It says they've uh, come to your gardens for tasty soil. What it could mean? Talk. What a miracle! I never heard anything like this. Also, that plant is actually very strong, so uh, wouldn't hurt to negotiate. I don't really know what to tell you about the soil. It's just soil. We plow it up, fertilize it, plant our gardens, and then take the crop as it should be. Wait. You don't fertilize soil thoroughly with manure. It will soon become barren, and nothing will grow there. It's not quite true, but okay. Not even evil thorns. Maybe this is what the talking plant meant. If uh, you help them fertilize their barren land, will it become tasty? Ah, you need to go to Wilma the Milk Woman. Take a cow from her and give it to the speaking creature. Let it fertilize their land. Hmm, what do you think of my idea? That's right, I've got a sharp mind. It's the reason I became an elder. Also, I'm old. Sure. I helped her once so she can help me, alright?
Your cows are the best in all Greenborn, right? Cow, you say? What do you need it for? All cows are different, you know? Zorka has a delicate and sensitive heart. You can't shout at her or whip with a stick. Nachka is the exact opposite. So naughty. Cow is given to budding. I don't know what to do with her. Better not approach her without a stick. And Ludushka is so obedient and clever. The milk she gives is so fatty. Maybe a cow which can help fertilize gardens. And Star would be the best for you. What a cow she makes. Oh, great. Yes, each a big star. Uh-huh. Lovely. We needed that description. Yeah, take the money. And now I have a cow. It's an ordinary cow with horns and hooves. I've got a cow. I'm going to give it to carnivorous plant creatures. What could go wrong? Shoot. Shoot. Go that way. Shoot. Not that way. Look, I'll, I'll kill you if I have to. Okay. Found any tasty soil for us? I found out how to make soil tasty. Here it is. Brought you a cow. Eat it, grass, and water will make your soil tasty. Strange. This cow. This cow right here. Walking on four legs eats grass and makes soil tasty. Good. Walking on two legs are resourceful. We have cows for tasty soil. Now we have a cow too. We won't come to your land anymore. Alright, don't forget, must be fed with grass and water. Uh, do the tasty soil people complain about my children again? We don't go to their lands anymore. We have much sweet soil here for walking on. Four legs feeds us good. I could take some of your children to other tasty soil. And he's a store, and he has lots of plants. Not a bad idea to do that just for access to more plants. You know, I'm not exactly sure how long I've been recording because my timer is all askew. But let's go with this away. I think that increases maximum mana. And that decreases the maximum amount of troops I have. Royal snakes. Mind uh, is tempting. This is basically how I play, I just sneak around and see what I can grab before I actually get into any fights that I can avoid. There's a thing. Faint murmuring sound coming from the side of the huge boulder. I can't see. The stone tell you. Be so kind. Go to the magic school. Ask. This young mage did not enchant me to the end. Do not want to be ordinary. Ordinary stone. Let him finish what was begun. I am speaking some of the highly extraordinary thing. Better stay what you are. I think he was enchanted to be talking, but he just wants to be a regular rock. I guess. Okay, sure. Need a... Dr. Kevorkian, I guess? Turn that into a rock pun for me, would ya? Saw a strange speaking stone in the forest. Speaking, what did it say? It said that one of the school students tried to enchant it to transform it into something unusual, but he didn't entirely succeed, and now the stone is still a common stone. 
didn't succeed. Oh, Bill Gilbert? Uh, wouldn't you say that a talking stone is itself a rather an unusual thing? At any rate, in case of a partial magic transformation, we simply need to finish the conjuration. Then the object, in our case a stone, will become whatever the original conjuration its author intended it to become. Do you know how to finish it? Speaking stone. I'd like to talk to the student cast a spell. The school's top minds have rested wrestled with the conjuration animation of natural elements for scores of years. You might try the universal Zerlin's formula. Ut umus lemo canis. Okie dokie then. 